Hello lovely Leos and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. This is your fortnightly reading for the first half of December, December the 1st through to the 15th. My gosh, we are getting so closer to the end of the year. The Page of Wands has come out for you, Leo. We are in beautiful Sagittarius season. So your fellow fire sign moved from that deep watery energy back into fire. So we'll see how that feels for you, Leo. This is a general reading. So just take what feels right and leave the rest. And if, it, if you want to delve into this more deeper, there is an extended reading. So the link will be in the description box below. I'd love it if you come over for that because we'll have a look at the sneak peek into the future and look at, get some more information coming through for you, Leo. So let's see, what do we have? And if you enjoy this reading, oh, the Three of Swords reversed. Strength, I've got the whole deck upside down, I do. Oh, we have to turn it upside down the right way up now, Leo. Um, if you do enjoy this reading, then please like, subscribe, leave a comment or share. Okay, so we have strength in the recent past. The chariot has come up. We have judgment, seven of pentacles, the six of wands and the five of pentacles. Okay, we're going to need some clarifiers. We've got the four of pentacles and we've got the hanged man. Then we go straight to the King of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. Okay. And look, we have as an overall energy temperance Leo. So, goodness. Okay. <laughs> what a reading. What a reading's coming in for you. So, I couldn't leave that Three of Swords there in that position without some clarifiers. So, let's see. What have we got for Leo? We have a beautiful little flower. Things are starting to blossom in your life, Leo. You will see some small growth coming through. But there's things that need to be cleared and healed here that are coming up for you. So that's it's actually quite a deep cleanse happening in here as well. So let's have a look at this for you. Let's pull some fairy cards there's a lot of happiness here as well and money to be made but you are overcoming something and a lot of be a lot of things are coming back into balance so there is growth there's definitely growth happening new growth okay fairies who wants to talk to leo but it's all very early days, Leo. I would have to say it's all very early days at this moment in time. So some things are coming up in order to move forward with this. Just waiting for the fairies to come. What fairies want to talk to you, Leo? Who wants to have a chat to Leo today? What fairy energies are coming out for Leo? Here, we've got someone finally, Leo. Laced Moon's daughter. So, you know, she's really interesting because she helps you see in the dark. She helps you move through some of those darker energies and there is something that's come up here with that Three of Swords. So she's got, but she lightens you. She's able to... You know, she knows that she's got her wings. She knows that she's capable of moving through this. Absolutely, 100%. So with a fairy like her on your side, it's very much being guided through some of these blocks that are coming up here for you. So, and she's cheeky as well. She doesn't take it too seriously. She's like, you can't scare me. She's fearless, probably is a better word to say. She's fearless. So there's a fearless energy coming up. Great courage, very strong courage coming through for you there, Leo. And we do have the strength card as well. So let's get stuck into this actually saying pull an animal spirit energy as well. So I will do that for you, Leo. And we have the cheetah. Look at that. This is 
fire energy, that upward pointing triangle, and it's a, a type of feline. I always think of this as kind of more of an Aries card, but, uh, you know, it's a very strong fire energy, very directional, fast-moving energy. So we'll visit that in a second. Well, we'll visit that later. I, I want to get stuck into these energies first. Okay, the Page of Wands crossed by the Eight of Pentacles. You've been working really, really hard at something and you're just beginning to see the new growth, some success or some opportunities that might be arising with this. So it's feeling positive. It's feeling like, yes, we're taking some positive step forward into something that you've been working on for a long time. So this, there's optimism, there's hope, there's a fresh sense of vitality, the words I've been given. So yeah, the things are looking up. This is kind of the energy that we're moving towards. Finally, things are starting to head in the right direction. And we have in your conscious mind the Ten of Cups. This is happiness, creativity, uh, lovely partnerships, happening around the home. So this is the sort of things or the themes that may be on your mind this might be something you might be feeling, but if it isn't, then it's something that you're wanting or you may be wanting to bring in here. So this is, you know, looking at your overall happiness and how that affects not only you, but those around you and your family and tribe or whoever you're connecting with is really important. So I do feel like there's happiness here, or this is what you're looking at anyway. But strangely enough, you know, the Ten of Cups is about your peak of happiness. How happy can you actually be? Can you be happier? You know, it's all looking at that stuff. But underneath, at the base, if we're looking at what's bringing in this pure happiness, how happy can you be? It's going, well, if you want to be happier, if you want to be as happy as you can be, you need to look at this little fella here, which is the Three of Swords, and is sitting next to the hanged man. So... It's actually what I'm being shown as this is suspended. <laughs> it's like it's, um, you know, when you see those kind of movies where something's kind of just floating and spinning in the air, it's kind of like that's what it's been shown, something that was just there spinning around. It's been suspended or frozen, this energy. And this is uh, a deep hurt, something that deeply hurt you and could actually be deeping, deeply hurting you now. It, but I do actually feel like this is associated with a past hurt that is coming up now. And it's there because it's ready for whatever that's been holding it in this place where it's just been frozen in time and hasn't been able to move anywhere other than spin around like that. It's now been brought up to be looked at. And so that... It can thaw. The ice around it can thaw. And once it thaws, it can heal and you can feel again. So this is a part of you that you may not even been aware of that was um, on a cellular level, perhaps even, that was being kept in a state of suspension, in a state of limbo. Uh, it's something that you haven't been able to move on from. Like I said, I'm getting this sense of things are just spinning around eternally. So this has come up. This is saying, okay, if this is what you want, this happiness, this is what you need to look at here. This is what's being brought up here. Because you know what underneath? <laughs> happy. You know, we have happy home, happy family. These are the two cards you're being topped and tailed by them at this moment in time. And these look at the happy partnerships in these, these cards. There's a rainbow of happiness, creativity. This is the 1111. This is the twin flames, sync, like soulmates. Uh, this can be marriage, commitment. It's all of those sort of things. Very happy home. The home can re represent you. Often for me, the home is your sense of self. So this is also about celebrating you and feeling really stable and happy and connected to all parts of you, you know, there's a beautiful balance coming in between this one and that one. And so there's this huge rebalancing happening on a deeper level. And, you know, we have the temperance energy, which is actually Sagittarius energy coming through. And what it's doing is balancing something out on a very, very deep level that has been 
it's like this thing that was spinning around frozen in time, this pain, is it, it imbalanced you somehow. It cut off a part of you that you couldn't connect to. And now you are becoming more whole, Leo, with this energy coming through. So it, this is not fun energy to look at. You know, it's not nice. It's a past hurt. But I think the reason it's coming up to look the way it's coming up and the way I feel like I'm observing it and looking at it, kind of like mindfulness, I'm the observer, I'm not feeling it. I'm looking at it. So it's a different kind of process. Uh, but it, in that process, you can, while it comes up to be cleared and thawed, you can feel it. But I do feel like for most of you that you are able to have some distance from it, which is why it's able to be looked at this time. Because if you felt the real depths of that three of swords, it'd be like, I can't go back there almost. So yeah, it's um, incredibly powerful. Don't be scared of this coming up because the fact that you're surrounded by all of this is really amazing. And look what's in the recent past, the strength card. This is what we were saying is that you have grown as a person. You have grown in strength and you are now in a place where you're strong enough to be able to do this, to look at this, to release this. To So they're wanting... In the recent past, they're wanting you to feel like you've grown in strength so that you have the confidence, the resilience to know that you can now look at something that has been held in suspension. So, uh, yeah, and again, the strength card is the Leo card, in the one of the Leo cards in the Major Arcana. It's Virgo meets Leo. And it, this is you, you know, coming back to yourself, a sense of coming back to yourself or a part of yourself. There's um, different aspects meeting yourself. So, yeah, but this is, so it's kind of been the process has been happening, but this is happening on a much deeper level. Now, in the near future, this is interesting, we have the chariot. You know, we saw the two sides, the balancing, bringing them together, reining them in, bringing it towards the whole, the dark and the light. And we saw that, Laced Moon's daughter, she sees in the darkness, she brings the light to the darkness. And we wouldn't have seen this before. This has been held in the darkness, just spinning around, spinning, spinning, spinning around. And it's until she flies in and goes, hey, what's down there? I'm bringing light to this that you actually can see it. And so this is overcoming this, having the strength again the fact that this is on the parallel line with the strength card, they're two very strong cards. But this is overcoming something, overcoming something, two sides, two halves, two warring sides that need to come in and be directional and be moving together and working together. And that's what we have with the four of wands. You know, you can see these two, 11, 11, the two sides coming together with this partnership here, that can re that can be reflected in your partnerships, a sense of coming together. This can actually be an internal process. Well, it is an internal process for you, Leo. It just might get reflected out in your external world. So this is overcoming this, donning your armor and, armor and going, I'm going to do this. And I think it will happen quite fast because we have the cheetah. The cheetah's like, boom, I'm heading in that direction. And that's what this chariot is. It's bringing elements together to for a unified front, a unified let's all move together in the same direction, all parts of you. And you can see the cheetah is dancing in the sun. It's running so fast. Suddenly this energy is running, pulsing through you. I want to click my fingers, Leo. So it's like once you kind of get that um, drive, that passion, you feel like you're all stations go, you're heading in the direct, right direction. You're like, it happens quite fast for you, Leo. So this is, uh, this is you, you're presenting as judgment. And this is you going through a huge kind of rebirth, a huge process of things from the past coming up to be looked at and cleared. And so this is embodying you. It is you. This process is you. And so this is an incredibly powerful 
uh, process or the way that you're presenting here is incredibly powerful. It's also heralding. This is what I, this heralding as an, it's heralding your arrival, <laughs> Leo. It's her saying, I'm about to arrive. All of me is about to arrive. So let the people know that I'm coming. So that's kind of, <laughs> I love it. And, you know, also I just, there's so many synchronicities here. You've got the 10, the 10, the two crosses here. So, so many partnerships coming in to, you know, so again, so powerful. So we have the seven of pentacles. This is the growth that we're looking around for you. You may not be seeing a lot of it. It's saying there's a lot more around you than you're seeing at this moment in time because you're seeing this. This little fella, oh, there's a little bit of growth there. How positive, great, keep working. I'm working away at that. They're saying, no, there's all of this. There's actually more. You've come further than what you've probably given yourself credit for. There's more happening and there might. I feel like there's more out there energetically happening on an energetic level as well. So there's this huge um, momentum of growth happening here around you. So, yeah, this is the environment surrounding you. It's it's um, awesome. There may be some decisions around investments as well to be made. So hopes and fears, we have the six of wands. This is the Leo, another Leo card in the deck. And you want success, recognition. Again, you want to be standing out from the crowd, being the leader, being the true, wonderful, beautiful Leo that you are. So, uh, but this is kind of what's happening. But strangely enough, there's still a process. There's a process of clearing because then we get to the five of pentacles and the four of pentacles. And it might be for a moment you feel like you have to go backwards just for a moment. Uh, so you're going, this feeling of rejection might come up. And this is being triggered by this, the three. This is what's, this, this is what's being triggered here. And it might be uh, showing up in your work, in um, how much in your work life, in how where you see your value. Someone's making you feel devalued, but it stabilizes. It stabilizes, but it's just a, a blip. It's a quick moment of pain that that is reminding you of where it is that you've gone, you've come from and what was triggering you and how it was affecting you and it, what it did was it actually made you leave and ask, leave your body, not your body but, well, for some of you, yeah, it made you leave behind an aspect of yourself. You've frozen, shut something away. You've walked away. You've shut yourself off from you. And so you shut down a part of you basically and that's where that three of swords has been held in this place that's shut down. But we come back, you come back to yourself pretty well, the four of pentacles, you know, re-stabilise, find your ground, find your footings again. Things are okay. Um, there could be, you know, this five of pentacles, this could come in the form of bill shock for some of you. It might be just like, whoa, you get a big bill out of the blue. But there's enough money for it. Things are going to be okay. That's just an example. It doesn't mean it's going to happen. But that's the sort of thing that would trigger this sense of life being unfair again, just when you thought everything was working out. And it's just really, um, I just feel like whatever it is, it's that it's just being triggered for the moment, just because it's showing you what's on the way out. But we do have, and then it goes straight to this, the King of Pentacles straight to boom, boom shakalaka, straight to the king of pentacles, you know. It's like don't get stuck in the four. That, is, that ain't you. You are the king, you know, king of the jungle. So what you're worth, your value, this is it. When, you know, you're stepping into the peak of who you are, of how valuable you are. And so you've gone straight from feeling a moment of feeling devalued or feeling like you've cut yourself off straight to feeling the best that you can and feeling really grounded within who you are with this King of Pentacles. I feel like a lot of this is going to play out in your workspace around money and career energy. So doesn't have to necessarily be at work, but it could be just purely related to money. 
But um, yeah, not only do you rebalance, but then suddenly you're on top again. So and f- stronger, stronger than ever, the strong as you can be. So yeah, look, I think you know this finds this King of Pentacles is very much um, finding yourself in a very strong financial position as well. Yeah, I'm feeling that that growth that you were looking for with that seven of pentacles and unaware of, you know, I feel like it's, uh, you know, it can come to you quite quickly. You know, going from the the four to the king is a very fast transition. The king's representing wealth, status, success, stability. And that happens quite fast. Just when you think it's all slipping out of your hands or you're going to go backwards, it goes forwards super, super fast because we have the cheetah here. So it's a momentarily lapse. It's a test of faith. But really what it, if this comes out for you, this is what it's doing is helping you clear that three of swords energy and everything's unifying and the sun is glowing. This is your energy. This is your ruler. Leo. So yeah, very powerful. And so really, you know, here we are, here we are in Sagittarius energy, and this is the card, the major arcana for Sagittarius in the deck, the temperance card. And you can see things begin to flow between one cup and the other. And we have the crown, again, stepping into your authority. You are the king, you are the queen, whatever you identify or want to identify with or both. Uh, so again, stepping into your authority, a new path opens where you can come back to yourself. And so the flow between both of those cups brings in the balance and they're both parts of you. And again, that can be reflected in relationships outside of you. But what temperance does is it brings in this expansion, all areas of your life are coming into balance, particularly flow in relationships. So there's this huge sense of balancing out and when this balance come, it comes, it does feel really good. It feels like things are suddenly working out. It can feel like things that you've been waiting for and have been blocked for a long time suddenly become unblocked and it can feel very stable so and grounded, which is what that King of Pentacles energy is as well. So, yeah, it's quite... It's quite the process, but it happens sort of so fast, Leo, that suddenly, boom, um, yeah, I think it's um, there's a lot of really, really good energy here. It's just a process of, of clearing out that one thing that has been frozen for a long time, but not to be scared of that. So we are going to, I'm going to pull some more cards in the deep read. This is where I'm leaving the YouTube reading. In the deep read, we're going to look at this in more detail and we're going to um, take a sneak peek into the near future, the future beyond this as well, Leo. Uh, So I'd love it if you come over to that reading. The link is in the description box below. So please click on that. Uh, But if this is where we're leaving each other, thank you so much for joining me. Please like, subscribe, share, or leave a comment if you enjoyed this reading. And take care, Leo. I feel like this is going to be an exciting month for you. Enjoy the ride. Bye.